Hi guys, my name is Mark and today we are talking about the Endgame Gear Cordura MPC 450 and 1200. Let's go! So guys, today we're talking about the Endgame Gear Cordura pads. I basically uh, played all of them, and not only the NPCs, also the MPX. And I also played a Cooler Master pad, which was one of the first Cordura pads. First I want to clarify, uh, Cordura um, is only a trademark. It's nothing specified to the structure or whatever the pad is out or how the pad is made. So basically every Cordura pad you can buy outside can be different. Different in the stitching, different in the in the depth of the of the material they are using. The only thing which Cordura means is that there's a pulya meat fabric out of, based of oil. So it's not organic. Basically, it's um, woven um, plastic fiber here in in the other sense. One thing I want to point out first is that um, the size of the MPC uh, 1200 is basically my favorite size, it's 120 to 60, which um, is a very good estimate for me. It's basically the size I would like to have from every um, seller or every producer of a mouse pad for the XL. Um, that's basically for me XL and L for me, for example, is 60 by 60. It's for me... Um, Desk pads, which are not desk mat, needs to be a square, so um, minimum 50 by 50. But for me, an L pad is 60 by 60 in my mind. When I would, would be a producer of a pad, I would do it this way. So I have the stealth version of the um, 1200 here, and I also have the, um, the first version of the MPC uh, 450 here, which has the Cordura stitching on the backside, basically the same as here as it's on the stealth. The structure is in my opinion 100% the same. The stealth looks a little bit better when you watch it in the light and honestly I would never play a blue by yellow pet because um, I have no idea where it would be matching to on which PC or which hardware you're using or which keyboards or mice or whatever. So um, this is a color I'm not very interested in. Um, I, I tried this, um, it was okay but when I saw they bring out the stealth pet in um, 120 by 60 I decided okay just um, skip this for a review and uh, do the reviews together and um, buy the big one and I'm really a fan of desk mats. I love them basically because um, I'm playing very close to the desk and um, I'm using my arm and my wrist for aiming on the fingertip grip and um, this was a, was very interesting for me. I played it and then um, I was realizing something I realized on this pad too is um, with different sensors on a low lift of distance for, of one millimeters you will have uh, spin outs or the sensor is not reacting so the sensor will be not able on a fast left flick from my side when I do a fast left flick in Valorant um, that it just stops, it's, it's not moving, it stops. I have no idea why, it was on a, um, a, 30, on a 60 sensor and on a 89 sensor um, on two different mice. Uh, so I have no clue. Um, I heard some other people who had uh, problems with Cordura, but with different Cordura too, not especially with this ones. But um, I think it's cause um, of the structure in, in general of Cordura. It's basically it's uh, like um, like mountains, and um, it's like you have the stitchings more high um, than normal woven um, fabric. It's um, when you see when you watch it, for example, or when you make a, an, a macro shot of it, you see that the highs and the depths are, um, have a, have more difference than on the fabric. So um, don't know how to really explain it to you. It's also based on how they made the Cordura. When I compare an MPC with an MPX, which is for me the best Cordura pad made ever out there. Um, I have no idea um, how it's called. What it's yes, it's Cordura, but what is it? Is it Cordura 1000? Is it Cordura 10,000? What is it? No one can give you any information about it. It's a secret of the of the fabrics or of the companies who are producing this in Taiwan or China. 
um, they just send the samples and you decide, oh, this Cordura is cool, I like to say, take this one. And if you compare these two Corduras to the Cooler Master Pad, this one is like you wear your old East Pack, uh, you, you cut off your East Pack, pep it on uh, some rubber and just put it on the desk. That's like an old East Pack. That's it. It's very rough. It's very big structured and here the structure is like if this is if this is big structure this then this is medium and on the MPX it's small structured but no one can give you a number or whatever so that you can decide okay this Cordura pad is like this one to compare and this is like this no one tells you anything about it that is the reason why I cut it out a piece of my MPX and sent it to a Cordura um, manufacturer in Taiwan to have more information about this type of pad because I would like to see this pad in 60x60 60 60 or 120x60 and this 39x39 uh, 39 39 pad costs 60 euro and it's way too expensive guys I mean it's awesome to play but it's different man it's I don't know it's I have no idea how this can be 60 euro so back to the MPC pads um, in general very good pads for me it's okay to play Apex with them, but I have no chance to play Ballon with them. My problem is on 1600 dpi that it's, it becomes very jittery when it when it comes to when it comes to fine aim. It's always like um, still moving a little bit. Those those rough flicks, for example, on big targets are no problem. But when you have like small targets in the far distance, you feel insecure because it's always moves a little bit. I know 1600 dpi is very high, but it also slows your latency of your sensor. And uh, for me, it's more important to have a smooth sensor feeling and the smooth feeling of my aim in game than to have it um, to have 400 dpi and don't have so much jitter, for example, by the texture of the pad I use. So basically, um, the pads are very good average pads for uh, someone who is just likes in pad which you can clean very easy which is um, from the pricing here very okay which has a great size uh, which looks very good and I think if you buy this MPC 1200 you will have it one year or two year and I think nothing on the surface will change ever because you can clean it easy with with a swipe you can clean it with a, with a roll uh, whatever however you want it's um, easy to maintain and I think for this um, they are very good picks for an average person who just is interested in a standard pad um, with no big disadvantages or a high price so the MPC pad is a good sales point and um, when you roll them out they lay out flat fast by the way and they are not very stinky like they don't smell like I don't know you have them right out of the tire fabric or something like that um, they are very okay and the non slip rubber on the back is the classic which looks like these small arrows. Um, I think you, we all know these pads. So here's no nothing invented very new or something that's not like they, they made a new pad out of nowhere. Um, it's just a very good Cordura pad for a fair price in a perfect size and for a normal player, absolutely top-notch pad guys. Um, I hope you liked my review and if you have any questions put it down in the comments guys. I will comment back and Hope to see you on your next review. Bye.